In this example, we are going to find the first and the second derivative, but the function f is in the quotient form. To find the first derivative, this is a function with respect to u. So the derivative with respect to u of u squared over u squared minus 9, apply the quotient rule, which is the low d high minus high d low over low squared. Our low function is u squared minus 9. Our high function is the u squared. So the high, which is u squared, so high, the d high or the derivative of the high is 2u. And the low is u squared minus 9. So the derivative of the low, which is 2u as well. The first derivative from using the quotient rule will be the quantity u squared minus 9 multiplied by 2u minus the h, uh, the, the high function, which is u squared, and multiplied by the denominator of the high, the low, which is the 2u, divided by the low squared, which is u squared minus 9 to the power second. As we see the common factor, 2u, factor the 2u out, then we have u squared minus 9 minus u squared, all divided by u squared minus 9 squared. u squared, u squared cancel, and the first derivative becomes negative 18u divided by the quantity u squared minus 9 squared. Next, to find the second derivative, we would do the same way by applying the quotient rule. For the second derivative, Based on the first derivative, which is negative 18u divided by u squared minus 9 squared. This time, the high function is negative 18u, and the low function is u squared minus 9 quantity squared. For our convenience, I'm going to factor negative 18 out. and treat it as negative 18 multiplied by u over u squared minus 9 quantity squared to make the problem less complicated with the algebra, algebra step. So the high in, in this form going to be the u function, and the low is u squared minus 9 raised to the power second. The derivative of the high is 1, and the derivative of the low is 2 times u squared minus 9 to the first power times 2u from applying the chain rule. Or the derivative of the low would be 4 times u times u squared minus 9. Find the second derivative, uh, the second derivative using the quotient rule. And at the same time, we have the constant multiple, which is negative 18. Use, use a low d high minus high d low over low squared. For negative 18, the low is the quantity u squared minus 9 to the power second, the d high, which is 1, minus the high, which is the u, the d low, or the derivative of the low function would be 4u multiplied by u squared minus 9, or divided by the low squared, which is the quantity u squared minus 9 squared and squared on top of it. Simplify the numerators. We have negative 18, and the numerator is u squared minus 9 power second. Multiply u to the parentheses, so we get negative 4 u squared multiplied by u squared minus 9, all divided by the quantity u squared minus 9. Now, simplify it to be the power 4. For the second term, if you distribute 4u squared into the parentheses, you would get negative 4u to the fourth 
plus 36 u to the second. But we would not do that way. Since we see the common factor, u squared minus 9, u squared minus 9, going to take the u squared minus 9 out of the bracket. And then inside the bracket, we still have another factor of u squared minus 9, minus 4 u squared. And all divided by the common denominator, which is u squared minus 9 to the power 4. Simplify the numerator, we get in the bracket here, that would give us negative 3 u squared minus 9. Therefore, the second derivative would be in the form of negative 18 multiplied by u squared minus 9. multiplied by negative 3 u squared minus 9, all divided by u squared minus 9 to the power 4. Now we see u squared minus 9, u squared minus 9, power 4 on the bottom or on the denominator, and it can be reduced to be the power 3. And then the other factor of the numerator, we have negative 3 u squared minus 9. We can also factor negative 3 and then multiply by u squared plus 3. 3 and negative 18 multiply to be, to be positive 54, multiply by u squared plus 3, or divided by u squared minus 9 to the power 3 as the second derivative of this function f.